Can you guys believe it? We finally got the absolute best mending trade that you can get. Mending for 10 emeralds. It's about time. We have two other villagers with mending, but they just don't cut it. Welcome to episode 31 of Silent Survival, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Today, we're going to get done two pretty major projects. We're going to decorate this entire storage system down here, or at least try to get as much done as we can. As you can see, Pretty big. Needs a lot of work. We'll come back and talk about this later. But the first project that we're going to get done is actually our quad chunk slime farm. This thing is massive. It is huge. It is way over here. And I'm actually going to cut to when I'm over there because it's kind of far away. Okay, welcome back. We're right outside the uh, quad chunk slime farm. This is the giant mythical swamp that we built. Most of you probably haven't seen this. It was quite a while ago since I showed this. But yeah, this is completely spawn proof. That's why there's buttons everywhere. And there should be a secret path right here that goes to our quad chunk slime farm. As you can see, we still have a lot of digging to do. <laughs> quite a bit of digging, but we already dug out actually four chunks worth of stuff. And um, yeah, that goes all the way down to bedrock. We have so far a triple chunk slime farm down there. And on stream, we actually did a bit more work. We made the items come up in an item elevator right here, actually, to go into storage. We're gonna build something around this this episode and also hopefully dig out all of this and prettify the walls by just using stone so that they're all nice and flat, not ugly like that. Um, this is going to take a very long time to mine out. I'm going to do that on live stream. I wish we could do that in a time lapse, but um, I don't have the technology to do a third person time lapse, which is the best kind of time lapse for a digging project. Anyway, so yeah, that's part one, digging that out, getting that done. Um, I'll probably build the third or sorry, the fourth actual slime farm um, on stream as well. That might not get done this episode. I've already built three of these in an episode quite a, quite a while ago. We also need to figure out why slimes sometimes escape. Because, like, that guy... He... I don't know. There's always a whole bunch on the outside edge. No idea how they get there. They're not coming down from above. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Okay, I'm getting pretty talky-talky, but real quick, I wanted to explain this before we actually get some progress done. So this is a glass item elevator that goes all the way down to the bottom of the world. There's a little dropper down there with an automatic little dispensing system. That's going to bring up all of our slime balls which we actually, once we actually uh, make it functional. Right now, it's just there. I don't want to bring up all the slime balls yet because I don't have this side done. But um, that'll go all the way up. It'll hit the slab, and it will either go left or it will go right evenly. So it has like a 50-50 chance either going left or right. So it's gonna end up in this segment here or this segment here. And I'm thinking we're gonna build like a witch hut or something witch themed around this because we are in a swamp. We're probably going to extend this terraforming of swampness um, over through this area as well. Now um, anyway, I'm about to go live stream right now. We're going to get a whole bunch of digging done on this and some other projects and I will bring you guys back. A four hour live stream of Doom later, we got a lot of progress done. And that little line right there is where we started. That was the top layer of blocks. We mined down maybe like 30 or so layers. Yeah, as you can see, there's still a lot of work to be done on this. Not going to get done this episode like I had hoped, but we did find an amazingly huge fossil. This is the first fossil I have ever found. Haven't even seen these in creative, never messed with these things before. And it's the biggest one I've seen on like any video or anything. I've seen them in other people's videos, but none this size. They're always little fossils, like little like nine by nine fossils or whatever. It's tiny little fossils. Anyway, we're definitely keeping this thing. We're going to make like some sort of lift coming down here. Some sort of like armor stand guys. I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on what we should do with this. I don't, really, I don't really care if it lowers our efficiency of our farms or not, but we're keeping it because it's really awesome and I love it. And I'm super happy that we finally found one. It's like a giant skeleton rib cage. Alrighty, let us get some actual work done on this storage room. So we're going to be working on decorating this thing today. I want to get this project finished up. As you can see, we've done a little bit here. We're going to try and make it look like a natural Minecraft cave. Um, with, you know, a little extra details, not so plain like an actual cave. And then we're also going to be working on getting some ravines in here. I do like the ravine idea. I just don't like this particular ravine. I think it needs it needs some more tuning. This we did on stream. I was tired. Now I'm only slightly tired and I'm not streaming. So we're going to redo this. And we're going to have um, 
a ravine going down the center of both of our storage lines here. So what we have is a three block gap in between our lines of blocks, which are our indicator lights. Oh, and here's some of the stalker boxes that we filled up of stuff. As you can see, a lot of stuff. So we're gonna dig this down like pretty far. We're gonna make it windy and weavy and zigzaggy, and there's gonna be lava and water and ores in there. There's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff. It's gonna look pretty cool if it looks like it does in my head, which it probably won't because I don't think in Minecraft, but anyway. Um, as for the center of the room, we'll probably have like a couple of like pillars and then ravines kind of going around it or something. Not entirely sure, we will figure that out. But let me get a little bit of work done and then we can uh, see how it looks. Oh no, no, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, what's the damage going to be? No. Oh, thank God. Whew. That is not that bad. Wow. That was kind of close. That's the first time I've died in a long time. I'm surprised that creeper actually killed me. Jeez. Well, <laughs> that's about the best intro I can get to bring you guys back and show you the progress I've done. Um, we got some ravine done. Um, yeah, I should probably I should probably clean myself up a little bit first. Maybe fix fix my stored storage system first. Thankfully, none of these chests blew up. Wow, that was close. All better. <laughs> I think we might have lost a shock box. I'm not sure if we had seven or eight up there, but. Eh, I don't, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, here's the bit of the ravine that I got going so far. It's a little bit hard because it's not um, like wider, but I have added a few little caves down here at the bottom that you might see from above. Of course, it's not done yet. No, this is just like the little base, um, like the base canvas, I, I guess you would say. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, this is like the, the general idea that we're going to have. Uh, those are natural ores, and then we'll have lava around in the bottom, we'll, have, we'll throw some different kinds of ores in there, and I was thinking we would get some oak plankages, I think we have some of those, I have four already, let's make a few more oak plankages, and um, get some abandoned mineshaft kind of theme going in there, um, I'm pretty sure abandoned mineshaft is oak, yeah, it's oak, so I guess down right over here, would be like a good spot for an abandoned mine shaft. Just have this coming out like a little ways. And then if I can get back up here, I'm bad at parkour right now. I'm a little bit shaky from that creeper. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a little bit something like that. And then you'd get the fence post going up. Maybe scale it down a little bit, although you can't really scale it down. <laughs> I don't know. I have to work around with that idea. But yeah, I'm going to get a little bit more work done on this. Add in some water and some lava. And uh, then we'll see how it looks. I've gotten a good bit more done now. As you can see, I added some ores, I added some andesite as well, and we're going to be covering this whole ravine over with some light gray glass. Um, that is really about the best we can do. It blends in with the stone a good bit, and um, yeah, it, we need something to walk on. We can't really just float everywhere. So, um, I also want to add a couple more details to this um, little mine shaft right here, and that is a minecart chest. I think that'll be cool to add, so... Hopefully it doesn't go. Okay, good. It, it stays. Usually they don't like to just stay on their rails. Also, I want to get some cobwebs down here because you always see you always see cobwebs inside of mine shafts, and I shouldn't have covered that thing up first if I'm going to be going down there so much. <laughs> um, I think we have cobwebs in here. We do. Thirteen. That's not amazing. We'll just put one down there. Um, otherwise, this thing is looking pretty good. It's never going to be quite perfect because we only have like three or four blocks to work with. But still pretty nice. I'm liking it so far. Um, a good spot for this would just be... Um, um, let's just put it like right there, I guess. Yeah, okay, that looks about right. It looks about natural. I'm just going for the natural Minecraft, like how natural generation looks. Um, I feel like that's something that I might be able to copy okay. Um, I'm going to get some more work done, get some more details done, and not fall into lava, hopefully. 
I love it when this happens. It's amazing. You get yourself a water source and a half slab, and then you got yourself a free trampling. Get on it now while it still lasts, guys. Free tramplings for the win. <laughs> that was not always a thing. Um, anyway, a lot has been done. I added some more ores, some gold, some water, some weird lava and water physics over there, and um, <laughs> combined up these two ravines to make one bigger one. We're then going to stretch that that way and do the floor over there here shortly um, another thing that i did was add jack lanterns for lighting over here which is actually kind of nice because we definitely need a way to light up this area um, as you guys saw a little bit earlier creepers are not very nice at all um, also i have not brought up the last episode at all which i should do now um, thank you guys for your amazing support on the q a that was really really fun to do we'll probably do another one of those here um, probably not too soon, but we will do another one of those. I'm um, probably not nearly as long as that one. 30 minute episode, mostly doing a Q&A, but we also built our quad melon and pumpkin farm actually over there somewhere. And we have filled up our storage system like three times already. Um, yeah, I've crafted a lot of melons, traded a lot. Actually, I can show you guys what I've traded for. <laughs> um, yeah, we have a lot of emeralds now. We also have a lot of mending and unbreaking and fortune and silk touch books for enchanting haven't done enchanting in a little bit i need to get more efficiency fives and then we'll probably enchant like 20 things in one episode i've not forgot about the enchanting i um just don't want to do any more bows right now because those are kind of painful um yeah so probably no more enchanting this episode or sorry probably no enchanting this episode but if we can get efficiency five the next episode we will enchant a butt ton of things um anyway yeah, that's pretty much the lowdown. And also, this ravine idea was submitted by Naka. Very good idea. If you guys ever have any ideas for stuff that I should do, absolutely uh, send it to me. I will probably end up doing it because I'm bad with ideas. <laughs> Thank you, Naka, for the idea. Pretty awesome one. The general shape for the next ravine going all the way to the end of our storage system is in now. Now all we got to do is add like the ores and the nice little details, get the water and the lava in there. Add a few more little caves, and um, yeah, just make it look like an actual ravine. We're probably going to have to go quite a bit lower with this as well, just to match it up to the other side. But that's all stuff that I'll do while I'm decorating it. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Bit of a progress update on the ravine floor. Got it pretty much done all the way up to this point. Just need to figure it out from here. Oh yeah, no small task at all. This actually takes a surprising amount of time. Um... Yeah, like a surprising amount of time. I made the water from this source right here go down towards over here. I think that's kind of cool. Adds a little bit of interest. Inter intertwines the, the ravines. Made an actual lava lake over here. Nothing too entirely special. <laughs> There's an actual ravine underneath our fake ravine. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to go down here and check it out. Yep, there's totally an actual ravine underneath our fake one. <laughs> uh, that's, that's pretty funny, actually. I am, uh, I'm pretty happy about that. I'm glad that I made a ravine in a spot where there's already a ravine. That, that's just, like, great geological skills right there. Um, anyway, that made no sense. So, let's, up, let's go up here and look at something that does make sense. And the ravine is pretty much done. I want to add some more andesite and kind of fix up these. I feel like there's too many blocks at this height. Um, kind of just bring them up a little bit, I guess. Remove these ones. I don't really know what I'm doing. There's a pressure plate there, so I can't place, place a block. Um, yes, yeah, still a little bit more detail needs to be added. I'm going to leave this corner dark because I feel like the ravine is already pretty bright. Um, with all the lava and hidden light sources that I have all over the place. It's pretty bright. This is like the other dark area. And it's looking pretty good, I would say. I do like it. It's definitely a good idea. It needs some more refining, though. Like, this right here could just be brought down. And there's another area that I had to block off. And, it, yeah, let me get some more work done. And then that should be the final revision of this. And then we can uh, take one last look at it. You know what? Why bother building your own ravine when you can have Minecraft to do it for you? We're just going to completely open this up and just have it go into this other ravine. That's going to look pretty awesome from above. Unless you ruin it all with water. 
Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to fix all that. God dang it. Yeah, this is gonna be a whole process. Hopefully I can get it back to looking somewhat what it was before. Um, yeah. Derp, 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 derp. You know, Minecraft is just really weird sometimes. That's, that's just like, okay. I can't even get up this, thank you. That's just like, no. Why? How? <laughs> Not complaining, it looks pretty awesome. I gotta say. Okay, finally, it's back to somewhat what it looked like. Let's get out of here, take a look at this thing, and it should be looking pretty awesome. So let's start at start looking at it from over here. We got the nice little lava lake it goes on. We got some water, and then if we switch over to this side, we got a cave, a lot of ores, and then some more ores, and I think there's a couple more caves, and then it opens up into the giant ravine down below where you just see some waterfalls, or some water and lava falls. That's pretty cool. I am liking it. I'm going to cover it up now. Um, unfortunately, with the glass, you can't really see too much detail. That's the only downside, but we got to have something to walk on. Um, we tried gray glass before. This is light gray, and that was way too dark. This is really the best option that we have, unfortunately. It is all completely covered up now and all cleaned up as well. There's lights underneath all of the chests. It's looking pretty awesome, actually, especially once you get over here and you just see that it goes down for so far. Um, the one thing that I will say is that any creepers that may end up in here, especially if they blow us up like right here, um, it's not going to be happy fun times, <laughs> but... Um, it is looking pretty bright, so we shouldn't have too many more creeper accidents. Um, definitely have done a pretty solid job of spawn proofing. There's actually a couple spots up here where things could spawn, maybe. Um, anyway, I am pretty much running out of time. It's 10 now. Usually if I don't get my videos done by 10 o'clock um, and get done editing and stuff by like 2 a.m. then uh, they don't go out so I would like to get this little middle ravine part done but we're not going to get to the walls today um, that'll be another episode or on streams or just some other time but um yeah I'm going to get this done show you guys what it looks like and I would like to get the entire floor of this place done um, I think that's a pretty reasonable goal this is actually pretty fun to watch. So you guys know how like blocks will occasionally try and fall off the corner of a block, but then they teleport back? Yeah, that's happening here, but it's falling into the lava and it's being burned. Kind of fun. I've seen this once before and it just freaks out every time. I'd love if you could make that like infinite. Anyway, the floor is done. <laughs> this place is looking pretty awesome now. There's no more torches. The lighting is done. We need to get some better uh, lighting than... uh jack-o'-lanterns under pump or oh my god jack-o'-lanterns under carpet but yeah this place is looking pretty awesome i want to put something here not sure what to put there maybe just like a trap door that just goes to lava or like a piston door or something i don't know anyway um yeah this room is looking pretty good make sure you guys let me know what you think about this um definitely put a lot of time into this it will get a little bit more tweaking here and there um, on streams or whenever I see something that I don't like like this has just too much stone I want to put some andesite there won't bother with that right now Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode guys. Sorry for no enchanting I know you guys like that um, every episode we usually uh, Name a whole bunch of stuff after people from the comment section We have a whole enchanter or blacksmith full of items named after people. Once we get a decent efficiency five trade, um, all we have is efficiency four for 44 emeralds. That is stupid and insane. Then we will be doing a ton of enchanting. Um, and I will be naming stuff after people from episode 30, this episode, next episode. Make sure you leave a comment down below so that you can possibly get something named after you. Um, hopefully in the next episode, we're going to enchant at least like 20 things. Um, anyway, yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new here. Maybe share the video if you really liked it. And yeah, hope you enjoyed again. And then there was silence.